Dozens of homes have been flooded in southern New South Wales, while severe weather and flood warnings are in place across two states, with heavy rain and damaging winds again forecast today. The New South Wales SES says it's received more than 1,100 calls for assistance, including a dozen flood rescues in 24 hours, while rapid impact assessment teams will move into Lake Conjola today to assess about 40 properties, as well as Dinilquin, where 16 properties may have been affected. In Victoria, several flood warnings are in place. Parts of East Gippsland could receive falls in excess of 100 millimetres today. We have reporters Rani Heyman in Melbourne and Bernadette Clark in Bega. Good morning to you both. Bernie, we'll start with you. What's the situation there this morning? Good morning, Emma. Yes, I'm here in Bega on the far south coast of New South Wales and today it's a lot uh, calmer than it was yesterday. Yesterday we had gale force winds, uh, the rain was extremely heavy, uh, but today it's eased off a little bit. But uh, you can see that the rain has um, caused some flooding. If you just look here, uh, this is usually a very small dam and um, as you can see it's a huge lake at the moment. Look, we've been really dry uh, lately, so uh, this rain is a little bit welcome to some farmers, but um, places like Lake Conjola in the Shoalhaven, as you mentioned before, have been heavily impacted. Look, that community uh, were hit by the Black Summer bushfires and uh, they have been hit time and time again. Uh, you know, here's what a Lake Conjola resident had to say about how that's impacting them. Oh just can't win. Fires, floods, something bad's always going to happen. Just how it is I guess around here but everyone will push through. They always do. And Bernie we've heard from the SES today, gee it's been a busy 24 hours for them hasn't it? Yes, extremely busy. Just in the southeast, there's been more than 500 call-outs and majority of them were overnight. We've also heard that the SES have been door knocking. Uh, here in Bega, there is a Watch and Act order in place, uh, as well as Lake Conjola. So uh, some volunteers have been knocking around, just advising people to, to really just stay alert. Um, we did speak to the SES earlier and they are advising people to stay safe and of course not drive through uh, flood waters. Uh, there is also uh, advice to be really safe with these flash floodings because it could um, be it could be really bad. Uh, here's what an SES spokesperson had to say. Uh, as I mentioned, some rapid damage assessments in Lake Conjola and Daniloquin and being ready to assist the community in that southeast area. We're expecting further flash flooding today. So we've got teams and assets pre-positioned to assist the community. But the biggest thing we can do is have the community make safe, sensible decisions uh, to adv either avoid travel or be very careful when they do so to avoid getting into trouble. So we are expecting more wet weather into the weekend. Uh, it's not as bad as the November rainfall we've received in areas such as uh, Jervis Bay, Aladulla and Maruya, a few hours north of here. Uh, so the next few days are looking a lot calmer, uh, which, will be, which will work in the SES's favour as they uh, help our community clean up um, and you know as always a huge shout out to the SES and emergency services who uh, are always helping our communities in uh, times like this. Absolutely Bernie thank you. Rani what's the situation in Victoria at the moment? Good morning, Emma. Well, we're at the State Control Centre for Victoria State Emergency Services, and this is where the staff control what is going on around the state. They have their eyes firmly on the East Gippsland area. That whole entire region is the focus of their concerns today, where we are expecting to see uh, heavy rainfall, which could lead to flash flooding in that region. There's also going to be strong winds there. We've recently heard from the chief officer here from the State Emergency Services, Tim Waybush, and he's told us that there was uh, more than 700 calls out to the SES in the past 24 hours. People have been needing assistance for things like flooding around their homes, trees down, things like that. Uh, so it has been a tense night for the State Emergency Service here 
In that region, there are Watch and Act warnings around some of the rivers there, particularly the McAllister River, the Thompson River, the Can and the Genoa River. So those are looking at potential moderate flood uh, risk there. So people in those areas are being told to prepare for that and prepare their homes, prepare their properties and look at making their way to higher ground. This is obviously a situation that has been unfolding over the past couple of days and will continue to impact Victoria. Victoria until the end of the week. We saw yesterday up in Swan Hill in the northern parts of Victoria, uh, streets were covered in water there with flash flooding impacting people there. So what state emergency services are looking at now is that flash flooding risk in the Gippsland region and the potential for riverine flooding there too. Rani and Bernie, thank you very much for the updates this morning.